Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to establish a tool height offset. The easiest way to do this is go ahead and jog the Z down, touch the top of the part, which I've already done here. You can see I've traveled, these are our uh, machine coordinates, I've traveled 5 inches, 310 thousandths. I brought the spindle or my tool down and touched the top of the part. I come over here to the right, I'll enter my tool number, I've got tool 1 in the spindle. Now you can see that the current setting for it is 1.387. Now this is from the last tool that we had in there, so I'm really not concerned with that at all. If it was an end mill and I'm using uh, cutter compensation, this is where I'd want to enter the, uh, the value or the diameter of the tool. I've got a shift here of 375,000, so I'm going to change that to zero. What a shift is, is when you bring, uh, if I was using a piece of 3 8 uh, gauge block, come down, touch the top of it, opposed to touching the top of the part. At this time, I have no uh, no gauge. I've just uh, gauge block. I've came down. I've touched the top of the part, so I'll just tell it to set the tool. And you can see it's changed the value from from what it was to minus 5.310, the same as it is from the machine coordinates, which is how far I've traveled from machine home down to the top of the part. Keeping in mind, I've also already zero returned the machine. Now I want to save this value, so I'll save the tool offset, and this also gives me a chance to view what I've got right here. So I've got a height of minus 5.310, which would be correct. I'm going to click Apply and OK. Now, when I use the G43 value, I can come back, which is when you call up your height offset. G43 H1 is going to call up this height offset. I can come back and repeatedly do this along with any of the other tools that I've already preset. And that is just how hard it is to set a tool offset.